Well, I, I tried to pick things today that were important pearls, important practice pearls. And the first one is uh, some new studies on uh, the lab looking at laboratory results in patients treated with oral medications for acne. The first was isotretinoin, and it pointed out that maybe we need not uh, continue to look monthly at laboratory tests on patients on isotretinoin. As long as at eight weeks the blood test looked normal, uh, there was no evidence that at 20 weeks things were going to be any different and the recommendation was therefore to cut back to perhaps baseline week one, month one and month two unless there was some uh, particular problems with an individual patient. And then the second was the spironolactone study uh, looking at potassium levels in young healthy people taking 100 milligrams or less of spironolactone. Same kind of story, no evidence that potassium needs to be followed in these young healthy patients. But my important point, I think, that I made was that this is the mean, right? We're in these studies, we're looking at the mean need for these blood tests and the fact that the average patient did not need to be followed. But it's important to remember that the patient sitting in front of us is not a mean. It's an individual, and we need to make sure at all times that that particular patient is not a statistical outlier whose labs are abnormal, and we're not bothering to follow them.